we talked about a lot of reasons why teaching history is an uphill climb today. Um, unfortunately, in many places across the United States, history departments have have shrunk and part of history majors have declined massively. I do think it is a, yes, it's, it's part of the broader trend of individualism that you identify in the book. It's also part of the more recent trend of the total culture war capture of history departments in so many ways, and both of which are highly discouraging uh, for people like me who are trying to advocate for these different things. But you're on the ground. You're teaching students all the time. How do you help students find inspiration, purpose, the meaning that comes outside themselves? How does history help you to do that, help them to see that? In a word, it comes from the meaning of story, actually, because when it comes down to it, I think that, you know, what is history? History is about stories that help us make sense of and stories in the past that have helped people and societies make sense of who they are. And I think on a ground level in the classroom, I am basically engaged in, I mean, I'm a historian of ideas, so historian of like where do our ideas about, you know, politics or democracy or, you know, human rights and so forth, where do all these ideas come from? And one of the things I found actually kind of most encouraging about being called by by God to be in this job um, and also in a university context where I can't do this um, theologically, right, it's not, a, it's not a seminary or Bible college, but I can actually engage with students in stories that help them make sense of the past because they're able to see how others have made sense of their own story. And when you actually have a, have an understanding of how, for example, people in the past have lived in, you know, in, say, the 17th century in the context of, um, ex, you know, British colonial expansion, thinking about Francis Bacon here, um, you know, trying to kind of wrestle with that and think that through and tell a story about what this is all about and the past and the present and the future, you actually give students a, something of a kind of model of how to do that themselves and therefore how to uh, then go back into their own lives and think, okay, what are the stories that I'm part of? Am I just my own story? Is life just about me? Or actually am I part of a larger story of the past and a present and a future? Um, and it's my prayer that... Um, the way that I do this at university and the way that um, we do this as Christians is such that actually the ultimate story with the past and the meaningful present and the future that gives meaning and hope is the story that God has called us to be in, the story of his people, you know, broken and yet redeemed and hoping and waiting his coming again. Mm-hmm. 